hello oh, welcome to my youtube channel so in this channel what i plan to do is basically document my whole learning procedure or the process of you know me learning how to program so what i did was basically uh, i created an account on code wars you can do this as well now i would not recommend this for somebody who is just starting out in to learn how to program uh, a bit of background about myself i have a bachelor's in computer science and engineering so here is me trying to explore and solve few challenges so that is why i created my account an account on code wars so what you can do is once you create your account on code wars you have this training set up right so once you go there you can say that they'll ask you what is your experience so for me i'm just i'm still learning to program mm. and also what languages do you wish to train on you can choose whatever you want uh, i basically want to train on javascript because i'm more interested towards building websites and stuff like that so there i am of course there are other things like typescript which is mostly used in all these front end frameworks but at the end of the day it still turns it turns out to be a javascript right even typescript is compiled back to javascript in the browser so let's just focus on javascript i mean if you have no idea what i'm talking about it's fine just stick around this whole process is more or less about solving problem rather than writing it in a programming language so let's get started then so here is our first challenge so square and sum what exactly is this oh uh, complete the square sum function i think i'm just going to make this a bit bigger so it's easier to read yep complete the square sum function so that it squares each number passed into it and then sums the results together for example for 1 2 2 and 2 it should return 9 because 1 2 Blah 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 is equal to nine. Yeah. So basically, what they're trying to say is, you have a function called square, and you pass a number n. So you pass something like this is what they are trying to say. So when you see something like this, it is an array, right? So something enclosed in a square bracket, which has number or maybe characters or an object. or anything again if you are not trying if you are not getting anything what i am trying to say just don't you know break your head just know that i said something called as an array and you can check that out on google right just go to google.com and say what is an array right you will get an array is a collection of items stored for blah 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 you can read about it so we are going to pass an array and it should return 9 so depending on this input it should return 9 why because the first number is 1 so 1 square is again 1 2 square is 2 or 4 and again 2 square is 4 so 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9 right so this is the problem so let's just say train and we will see how exactly this is going to take place i have never done this before so i'm just reading it for the first time so this is this might be a long video so we will see complete the square again it is the same thing over here the same instruction and output will be shown here okay good okay tip. okay i'm just going to skip through this i mean i'm going to read it but i think i'll edit it in the video okay so there are some sample tests over here anyways so now square of numbers sum and you have numbers so numbers is basically an array now right so we need to uh, split that array so if you go to google.com and you say because now we are working on uh, javascript you can say array in javascript to know more about it right so w3 schools is like go to option if you want or else you can go to other options like there is the official mozilla developer thing that is also there geeks for geeks is good uh javascript info is actually really good like this would be my number one option but w3 schools is just like you know you have it it's easier
So there is something called as array methods, right? When you go to array methods, you will see that you can uh, convert them into a string. You can pull out our, you know, things and such. So now what we need to do is just go through the elements of the array. So there is something called as length of the array. So first of all, let me say this. What we need to do is basically, again, this is a comment. So basically you have to read the numbers, right? Read the numbers individually from the given array, which is numbers, right? Like this thing itself is an array. So we need to go through that. So to do that, we need a loop again. Just if you don't know what a loop is, just go and read what a loop is or else I'll try to explain it in a different video if possible. So we need a loop. So basically I'm just going to say a for loop and let the iteration variable be zero and the I need to travel it for the length and in JavaScript length of an array is basically the number of items in an array, right? So the length should be less than the numbers dot length. I hope this is the syntax. I am not sure. I'm just going to check in array methods. I need array dot length. Where do I find that? It should be in array properties, right? I'm just going to Google that array dot length. If this is the method, I mean, if that is a property, yep, it is a property. So array dot length should work or what we can do for simplicity is just say array length equal to uh, numbers dot length, right? And then we can say array length. I cannot spell properly. Anyways, I plus plus because we want to go from zero to whatever the length is there, right? And now we want to extract each element and then square. Basically, if you read the question again, it says square sum. So we need a variable called as sum. Let sum equal to zero at the moment. And now sum is equal to sum will be sum plus so zero at the first iteration will be zero plus whatever the item of that array is right. So numbers is the array and this will be numbers of zero. So number of zero is basically the first element of that array, which is one over here, right? And we need to square that. So this is the squaring function, right? So this will square whatever is there, but there is a problem, right? We don't know what data type this is. This might be a string or it might be a number. So it's always best to convert this into a number type. I think this is a number type. Let me just check again just to be sure. Number type. How do you convert something into a number type, right? Message blah blah blah. No, 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 number of I think that is the function right mm. yeah it is a big n yeah number of numbers blah 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 so that will give us the sum or what we can do to simplify this would be let num is equal to number of or you can say let square number is equal to number of numbers i slash slash two and what we can do here is 
sum plus squared number right and then at the end of the day what you need to do is this is a function so it needs to return something so it needs to return sum i do not know if this works describe this blah 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 this okay let's just say this yeah perfect test this reference error number is not defined so of course it's not defined because i missed the s over there mm, so you have passed all of the tests good now let's say attempt and basic should pass basic tests completed blah 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 it says outstanding you may take your time to refactor comment your solution submit when ready so these were the amount of tests that were there and for everything it worked out even for negative numbers do, do they have strings they do not have strings so even if you did not convert this right so let's say i did not convert this to a string like say for example everything here was a number right so let's just try this out it should work yep see it works because nothing inside that was a string right so yeah this is how you would solve so basically what i did was i took the array length why did i take the array length because you need to travel see first of all you need to understand that this numbers right if you read the instructions again it is being passed as an array so this is an array but are they telling you it is a fixed array like are they telling you that in in numbers array there are going to be only three items or four items no right it is dynamic like it can be anything say for example if you check my output right the number of items inside this array is dynamic it can be anything so what you need to do is try to get the number of items inside the array like so you would get that through the length right because you need to travel through this array like you need to go through every item like each and every item and then square it right go through each and every item square it and then add it that addition uh, result should be stored in something called as sum of course you can name this whatever you want right you can name it whatever you want but just to make it make more sense you will name it in a more sensible way so you store it in a sum initially sum is zero so if you go through the first iteration so i say let i is equal to zero and i is less than array dot length that is it should be less this i should not reach more than the number of items that are there inside the array and then we increment this right again all of these if you have no idea what is an increment operator why am i doing what i am doing then you need to check the basics right again if you i think in the instructions it's there yeah see so basically you need to know arithmetics mathematics algorithms algorithm i don't know what exact algorithm we are just doing search over here right the regular search and arrays is the important thing that you need to know lists i'm not entirely sure but yeah and data structures very important because if you see i tried to convert this into a number type right not the entire thing but the array right to a number type why did i want to exactly do that just so to make sure that there is there are no strings or any characters inside the array right again you need to know what exactly is a string what exactly is a number right so once you do that so i'm just going to explain the logic uh, so for first iteration it will go through the first number which is one so one it will square it first so one square is one so square number now at this point of time is one right so sum is now what exactly will sum become so sum is equal to sum which is zero at the moment plus square number is one so the result now will be one right so this will be the thing but then our loop is not exited because array dot length at this moment for this input is three right so now it will go to i is equal to one so what exactly is number of one because now i is basically one right so when i is equal to one it will go to this 
the second position of the array. So now the uh, it will be two square, which is four. That is the square number result. And then now sum was previously one, right? So one plus four because square number is now four. So one plus four is basically five. So it goes on like that until the loop becomes false. When will it become false? When I becomes three. Why? Because array length is three. Why? Again, the number of items over here is three. That is why array length is three. Now I is not less than three, right? So when I is equal to three, this will become false. And once this is false, the loop will exit. And effective sum at that point of time would be nine given this input, right? And then you would return sum. I know I tried to explain this in a very weird way because this is my first video. I just try to cover every corner. Hopefully, it did not confuse you. If it did, again, just re watch the video. It is a very simple, basic math thing. Uh, if you do not understand majority of the concepts again, as I told you, learn what is data structures, learn what is array. Again, this can be implemented in any language. If you notice here, I am doing it in JavaScript. You can do this on any editor. Uh, we will discuss that in a later video. So yeah, this is the solution for this. Hopefully you enjoyed it.